let's learn how easy it is to write a story on Storybird in five minutes or less. So on Storybird, I am going to pick uh, my landscapes or my cover theme. So I'm going to go with classic. I get a, a, a square, uh, and I'm going to name my story. And uh, now I, I'm going to want to change my picture. So I'm going to move this in. And now I've got my character, and she's got I don't know some sort of animal here. Um, okay, so uh, just add my picture, add my text. I can make more text on this page if I want, or once again I can move on and I can add a page to um, my, uh, my my story. So now uh, I've got my character under a tree. She's figuring out what to do next. And uh, again, I've got all these great pictures to choose from. And this is really inspiring for young writers. So again, I'm going to add a page. I'm going to get my next picture. And now it looks like, uh, I don't know, maybe a, maybe a wizard. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and save my story. And now I can do a couple of things. I, I can save it and close it and return to it later. Now this is really awesome if you've got your kids registered for this. I can invite a collaborator and then uh, that's why, where this is nice if I go what do you think will happen next my collaborator can come in and work with me on this. Uh, let's just say I want to publish my story. So my story comes over here. They can summarize my story. I could call this an adventure story. So I come down to who this is written for, and uh, probably preschool to, or you know grades one through four. Probably click into that. Uh, privacy is an issue. You think about if you want it to be private for your students only, uh, or if it's uh, okay, you can you can go to a public if you'd like. And um, you know I'll go ahead and and uh, publish that for the world to see, and, and then here's my story. So lots of things you can do um, with Storybird. Uh, give it a try.